What's up everybody, welcome to episode 4 of the Valheim playthrough. Now before we get started on this episode, I did do a couple of things between the last episode and this one off camera. Went and got a lot more wood, and a lot more stone, and got a lot more copper and tin so that we can make up some bronze and get that boat going. Also collected a bit more deer hide, because if I remember correctly, you need some of that to make the boat as well. Let's go ahead and craft up some bronze so we can get the nails going. That, and then we'll get the nails. I know we need at least 100 for the boat, which should unlock at this point. Yep, there it is, the carve. Pretty sure we need at least 100. And then that also gives us the item stands, which we're going to use. And I believe it also gives us sconces. Go ahead and build a couple item stands first, because I know there's some places that I'm definitely going to want to put up some trophies here. Put one right in the middle here. Put one right in the middle over here. And then we're going to put some over here in our little comfort area. Actually, let's just put one in and put it right above, right above the bed here. Maybe we'll put kind of a larger trophy, so that right there. Now for sconces, I wanted to do something, some sort of chandelier design, but I've toyed around with a few things and I really can't get anything to work the way I want it to. So we're gonna keep it pretty simple for this one. I'm just gonna put in some wood poles. We'll put one there. We're gonna put one there. And then we're gonna put a sconce facing inwards on this side. Kind of down towards the bottom here there. Then we're going to put one here facing more towards the general area. And we'll drop it right there. That'll work. That should take care of our lighting situation for most of the place at this point. Uh, one other thing that I crafted off screen as well is another 200 fire arrows. Those are going to be necessary for defeating the elder. It's going to make our life a lot easier. And then the last thing that we're going to want to do is put in our first portal. And we'll just drop it right here in this kind of open space. That'll work. And then Hugin will tell us all about the power of portals. Excellent, thank you. Um, actually just going to go ahead and leave this one unnamed for now. We'll just leave it as a, as a default portal. That'll work fine. And we'll make sure we have that in our inventory so that we can build up when we get there. And then, just for the sake of convenience, we'll go ahead and grab half a stack of wood as well, so we have enough to build the workbench, just in case we get there and there's not enough trees around to make that happen. Alright, now let's take a look and see what the requirements exactly are for the carve. Oh, it's only 80 nails, okay. 20 resin, 10 hide, 30 fine wood. Should have all of that available. Now we've got everything we need to build one more portal, build a workbench, and build our carve in our inventory. Also went ahead and grabbed some extra wood and some more resin. So we're going to build a little kind of makeshift, uh, not really a dock, more like maybe a little pier thing. So let's head outside and work on that real quick. So back out front here, we got to find somewhere I want to put the kind of quick little pier it would be nice to put it kind of straight out here, but there's a lot of rocks and little sand uh, sand dunes and stuff in the middle of the ocean here. So it's not quite as deep as I'd like it to be. I think what we might do is actually build it off of this stone platform. It's sticking out over the water a little bit higher over here. Oh look, free fish. Awesome. Yeah, this one over here doesn't really have any rocks or anything going on in the water, so I think this would be a good place to start. This will work as a nice little fishing pier in the future, because there are a ton of fish around this rock for some reason. So that'll be nice. And now we can go ahead and drop our boat in. Right here should be fine. Perfect. There we go. Now we got our first boat ready to rock. Check our inventory, make sure we didn't overspend on anything. We got plenty of wood. Got enough to make the portal. And we got a free fish. Alright, perfect. Oh, you know what? Actually, I completely forgot about this. But I don't think we have enough ancient seeds to even summon the elder yet. So we might have to go grind some of those out as well. But for now, 
We're gonna jump in the boat, head over there, and get a portal drop down so that we can get there faster in the future once we're ready to start the battle. Let's begin. If I remember correctly, he's just due north. We're gonna have to take a little bit of a detour around the island this way, but that's all right because we don't know what's over here. There could be, could be a swamp right here or something interesting. We'll be able to see that as we traverse around. But for now, we need to go in pretty much the opposite direction that we're facing and follow the island up. Let's see what we find. Of course, the wind is facing the correct direction right now. In a moment, when we're facing the way that we need to be, probably gonna lose the wind entirely. That's how it always goes, especially on your first trip. You never have the wind going in your favor right off the bat. And now we actually still have a little bit of wind, so we'll go ahead and take advantage of that for now and get out there. Alright, so we're up at the north point of the island, kind of due south of the Elder's location at this point. So it's time to change our heading and say goodbye to our little island, start heading directly north. to find one of these uh, on this trip. Looks like we got ourselves a super rare leviathan. Alright, well let's go ahead and see what we can do about this real quick, huh? That's a pleasant surprise. I was just doing the pan around to get some cinematic shots for the fast forward. And landed right on this guy. What do you know? Now oh, there are Buffer fish on here, which is not super great. Let's see if we can go ahead and angle this up a little bit. And then we'll get on there and see how much abyssal, uh, what is it, chitin? I think that's what you get on here. It was a very good find, considering it was on the way to where we're going anyway. Still pretty far away from him. It looks like there might be a landmass between us, but let's go ahead and take care of this situation here first. Alright, we want to find, hopefully, one that we can hit a few big ones. Yeah, there's a big one over there. Big one here. Oh, there's the biggest one. Alright, we'll start with these guys, see how far we can go. upset already. That is alright. We're getting a pretty good chunk here, I think. We get one more. Oh, we might not be able to get one more. Where's the boat? There's the boat. Run. Alright, perfect. That'll work. Oh my gosh. There he goes. We probably could have got one more. I got scared. And there he goes. Gone forever. How much do we get? 
14. Yeah, that's not very much. That's not enough to do anything. Oh well. Unexpected little bonus, so can't complain too much. All right, let's get back on track here. There we go. All right, back to our destination. Oh my gosh, and we got a serpent. Okay. Every time I try to do a little cinematic uh, turn around the camera, something interesting happens. At least I'm recording. <laughs> Fortunately, there's not much we can do about this right now. We don't really have the equipment to take care of this guy, so we're just gonna have to try to outrun him. Which we do have the wind, but he is catching up pretty quick. All right, looks like we might be good. Hopefully, he'll just lose interest and uh, leave us alone. Oh, and we got a swamp up here too. Are we almost? No, nope, we're almost at the elder. We need to be going this way more. I don't want to slow down, this guy's going to catch up with us, but we are going to have to come to land pretty soon. Thinking this is the area that, yep, yeah, this is definitely the area that we need to be at. So that's nice, there's a swamp attached to it real close to. Oh, we got some rocks coming up here. Turn, 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 turn. All right, now we need to slow down. Looks like he despawned. Yep, he's good. All right, then we'll pay attention to where we're going here. All right, we'll probably, probably go ahead and just dock in this area right here. All right, so we've made it to the island with the Elder. Let's go ahead and check it out and see what's going on between here and the boss. And there it is. Like it's in a relatively good spot, actually. Pretty flat. Lots of room to dodge. Got the pillars to hide behind. There's a one star deer. Alright, let's just go ahead and take care of him real quick. Nice. Get all those goodies. There's a spawner over there. Yeah, I see some purple. It's definitely a spawner over there be aware of that. And we got this area. Is that an Elder location? Like right next to the Elder Arena? That's pretty funny. I have a feeling he's right there. Whoa, hey, hello. I didn't even see that. Alright. Looks like we got a trader location. Oh, we got the Brute Trophy and another Ancient Seed. Okay, some interesting things are happening here. Let's go check out the trader first. And we'll set up a portal over by the trader. And we'll just use that to come back and fight the fight the elder. I can't believe we found the trader already, right by the second boss. That's nuts. That is crazy. There he is. Why, hello there. I have no idea how much treasure we have stored up at home, but we might actually be pretty close to getting the belt. Which would be very helpful. And the last few maps I've played on, uh, since Hildor's release, Hildor's been pretty, or Hildir has been pretty close to Haldor. So if we're real lucky, she's, she's out here somewhere. But I have no idea if we'll be that lucky. Alright, now that we have him, let's go ahead and drop our portal somewhere close. And yeah, drop it right there. And that should connect itself, since we didn't name the other one. Ba boom Eventually I'll probably want to end up naming these, since we'll keep the trader portal for a while, but... For now, let's go back and see how much, uh, how much cash we have. This is crazy. I don't I don't think I've ever seen Haldor spawn like right next to the Elder. That's awesome. Alright, let's see. We got 263, 170, 400, 280, another 225. That, that might actually be enough. Let's see. Sell, 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 sell. Oh, we might have enough to buy everything that we want. Alright, let's get 
get the belt. We'll get the fishing rod. And I guess we'll get... Yeah. Screw it. Let's just buy all the bait we can get our hands on for now. Awesome. That's everything we need for now, so now we need to start saving up 3,000 gold so that we can buy chicken eggs eventually. Alright, those are some good pickups. Let's go put away the fishing rod and get ready for the elder battle. Alright, I'm back at base here, and I went ahead and upgraded the bow all the way up to max. So that's now at level 4, which will help out in the battle quite a bit. I also noticed there's something in here I've never seen before. A pointy hat. I'm assuming this is part of the Halloween crafting stuff because it is October right now. So I might go ahead and make one of those just so that we have it. Actually, I think I will because it only costs one bronze anyway and it's pretty cheap. Why not? Could be fun. Let's check it out. Ah, look at that. That is some... Gandalf level headwear right there. The other thing I'm considering is actually going ahead and upgrading to bronze armor. I knew I said I was going to skip it. The more I think about it, we've got plenty of bronze and there's really no reason not to. Plus it might help out a little bit in the swamp. So let's go ahead and do that. We need 15 bronze to make all three pieces. So we'll get that crafted. And now we're fully kitted out help a little bit more so in the swamp than with the elder. We'll wait to get our rested buff back in full and in the morning, so we'll go ahead and sleep and we'll go take on the elder in the morning. And somehow I keep forgetting that we do not have enough ancient seeds to actually spawn the elder in, so we gotta go collect an ancient seed before we can do anything today. So let's go do that. Alright, we're back at this spawner between the trader and the elder. We can just destroy the spawner to get the seed that we need, since we only need one. But if it feels like spitting out a brute, we might have a chance that he just drops one. It was spitting out nothing but brutes and shamans the first time, the first one that we ran by. This one seems to be just doing regular gray doors. It's good for the eyes, not for the seeds. There's another one. Alright. Let's just destroy this thing and get the guaranteed one. Perfect. So we should have three in our inventory now, and we do. Perfect, perfect. Alright, now we can head over and get the Elder Battle begun. So we're back at the Elder Arena, and we've got a got a problem. <laughs> this troll decided to follow us all the way back here. I was trying so hard not to kill any so we didn't get that raid. But as I understand it, I believe killing the Elder activates troll raids anyway. So I guess it doesn't matter. I might just have to go ahead and finish this guy off. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We've still got a little over 200 arrows left, which is good. Now we've got the troll taken care of and the area's cleared out a little bit. Let's go ahead and do what we came here for. It's about midday. We only have five minutes of rest left. Our food's a little bit low. Not super ideal, but I do want to go ahead and get this done tonight. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Where's he gonna come in at? Over there? Alright, cool. So this is gonna be kinda similar to Ike there, where the goal is to just keep him on fire and don't take too many hits. Hide behind these indestructible pillars when he does that move, because it'll just tear through everything else. Oh, he's going... going straight for the roots? Okay. That's not ideal. Being a big meanie elder. Be nicer.
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get those roots out of here. We're doing bad stamina management, spending too much time aiming. Oh, he's going for roots again. Man, alright. He's really angry that I'm playing this pillar game. Fair enough. Keep him burning. Oh, that one's... That one's... Gonna be close. Okay, wow. More roots. This guy. This guy is... Ouch. This guy is being a... Being a big old meanie. We need to get back over okay. I was gonna say we need to get back over there, but there's too many roots. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That was some bad dodges. And he's gonna bring the roots back over here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Did you get confused there for a second? <laughs> I think you forgot what he was doing. That one went around the pillar in a very, very way that I don't like. Alright, uh, roots are back. Wow, he's got roots everywhere this time. Ooh, that was close. Um, you can't hide behind the pillar, that's my tactic. What are you doing? everywhere. Roots everywhere. Not good, not good. That one's gonna hit us. Oh my gosh. Alright. Roll, roll, roll. This is a terrible place to be at. We have made a mistake. Positioning has been ruined by these roots. Get out of here. Alright, we're good. We're good. Back on track. And the roots are back. Awesome. It's alright. Go over here. Wow, oh, he got he got real confused on that one, huh? Yeah, that was close. Sneak over here, we'll be alright. Alright, spinning all over the place with those. Just trying to keep him on fire so he's at least taking chip damage while we're not actively shooting him. Oof. I don't know if I agree with that one hitting me, but okay. Uh, roots, roots everywhere. Roots literally everywhere. Okay. Oh boy, it's getting getting real close. Let's just cut across the middle. Let's see if we can get over here. Whoa, he's right on top of us. Okay, did not realize that. It's all right. Looks like the roots are gone. So let's cut back across to this side, and the roots are back. Of course they are. He's down to about half health already, so that's not terrible. Just keep peppering him. What do we got? 160 arrows left. Should be good. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. This side looks much better. Roots are gone. After this attack, we'll move over 
a little more distance. Yeah, well, of course he's got a counter for that. Food's starting to run out. Gonna have to find a moment to gobble up some more goodies here. This might be it. Pop all that. Four roots. We could just kill these. I think they're one shot with the with the bow that we have, but. We need to keep moving around the corners anyway, so I'm not stressing it too much. Yeah, keep doing that. Or don't. Or don't is also an option. He's real low now. Just gotta finish him off. Need to get around to that other corner there. All right, let's get some stamina back. Ooh, I thought we were gonna get hit by that one. Oh, don't put roots here. This is this is exactly where I wanted to be. Okay. Be that way. All right, let's see if we can get a little more distance between us before the roots come back. Yeah, you put one over here, but I think we can deal with that. So we'll just make sure it doesn't doesn't end up being a problem. Yep, stamina, stamina. Whoa, jeez, roots. Ouch! All right, the one I thought was going to be a problem is not a problem. Got hit from behind. Have to dodge that. Get him back on fire. There we go. Let's see if we can cut through over here. Right, he's so very close now. Oh, he's doing roots. I should have hit him again. It's alright. Oh. Quick dodge. Oh gosh. Oh, dodge. Dodge. Okay, I don't know why I jumped and blocked when I was trying to dodge, but I guess it worked. Come on, chip damage. Burn him. Wow, okay. One more shot to finish him. Good night. Ooh, I missed. I missed the final shot. The irony. No more roots. Goodbye. Get out of here. Get out of here! See, we didn't even need 200 arrows. Overzealous. Alright, Swamp Key and the trophy. Excellent. Now we can go to the swamp. We can open up the crypts. And I guess the first thing we have to do is go back to the... Go back to the stones drop his trophy off, even though we don't really need his power, but his trophy is not that interesting, so I don't feel like putting it up on the wall either. Some of them I do, like, I'll probably go back and kill Ikthir again, just have an Ikthir trophy on the wall back in the base. But for now, that's the Elder defeated, we'll be heading off to the swamps, let's go put his head on a spike, and then we'll wrap up this episode. And we're back here at the Sacrificial Stones. Let's go ahead and put the Elder's head on his hook. And I'm not going to activate his power because it's faster woodcutting, which we just don't need right now. And I've tried using it a few times. It is helpful if you're like specifically just going out to collect wood, but 
Right now we don't need it. So with those two down, our next area to go explore is going to be the swamp, which we did find at least a little one on our way up to the elder over here. Don't know exactly how how big it is. Hopefully it's pretty big and has a lot of crypts in it. So we can just head up there. We do have our teleporter set up here and our boat is like right over here somewhere. Probably should have put a marker on it, but I think it's I think it's right down here somewhere. So I'll probably teleport back up there, take the boat over to the swamp, and see what we're working with on that one. And then that'll move us right into the Iron Age. We can actually start doing some mid to end game crafting, building, equipment, all that fun stuff. And then go after bone mass. And then after bone mass, we get to go hang out in the mountains for a while, which would be interesting. I actually really like the mountain biome, and a lot of the dungeons there are really fun, so... That'll be a cool one. And then everything after that... Eh, the plains actually aren't that bad, so... Going to the plains will probably be where we start building our in-game base and get our, our final construction set up and ready to roll. And then the Mistlands, and finally the Ashlands. Now I've been through the Mistlands before. Um, pretty much hate everything about it, so not super looking forward to that one. And I have yet to actually go to the Ashlands. In my main save, I do have everything I need to go there, but I haven't gone there yet because I wanted to do it in this series. So once we get there, it'll be the first time that I've seen that area. So that'll be something to look forward to. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you for watching. Thanks everybody who's been liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you enjoy this, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button to follow along in the future. And I will see you all in the next episode.